Well, the calendar says January, but the Taylor softball season is just around the corner. And to talk about her second year leading the Trojans, I'm joined by their head coach, Aaron Kotlars. Last year, you go back, guys go back to the national tournament in your first season. What have you learned from year one that you want to apply to year two? A lot. <laughs> I mean, there's so much to learn every day that um, I'm in the office or every day that we practice, we have games. Um, there, there's always something to learn and grow from. Um, and so, I mean, it's, it's learning how the girls respond to us as a coaching staff. It's learning how um, our pitchers respond respond in games, how our hitters respond. Um, and so it's not only in the game, it's it's the things in the office, it's budgeting, it's scheduling. It, it, there's so much to learn. And, um, you know, it, it was an easy transition for me, um, I think, because of the people that I work with, the girls that we have, the coaching staff that we have. So they made it a lot easier for me. Well, one of the big things you have going for you here in year two is you bring back your entire pitching staff from a year ago. How much of a benefit is that? Yeah, it's a huge benefit for us. Not only um, that we return everybody, it's the experience that they have. Um, and it's not only you know so freshmen that are now sophomores, it's our upperclassmen too that are returning. Um, and with our, our pitching coaches too, that's a huge benefit for us. But being able to bring them back and girls that are going to see more time now, um, it's going to be a huge benefit for us. Now, the one of the places you have to replace some experience is in the batting order, thanks to last year's graduated seniors. How's that going, particularly not being able to be outside here in uh, the great state of Indiana during the, during the month of January? Yeah. It makes it a little bit cold to get outside, I just think. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. I mean, so so losing two starters is, is huge, um, and their bats were, were huge for us. You know, the top, you know, couple hitters that we had and um, two of our best hitters that we lost so um, I don't want to try to I don't want to think about that too much and I want to try to replace them with with the girls that we have and um, our girls that we have now are, are, are unique um, they're not like Hannah they're not like Courtney um, and so they're unique in their own ways and we're going to add some slappers in the lineup we're going to add some speed so we're going to be a little bit of a different team this year um, instead of the, the power hitting team that we were last year. Does that make the beginning part of this year a little bit more fun for you? Because you can kind of try and try a few new things and maybe a different lineup combination here and there before you guys jump into the league schedule. Yeah, and it's it's going to be different in Arizona because there's so many things that we want to try. But I was even sitting down the other day trying to think of all the different lineups that we can put. And that's a great thing that we can do because we have so many versatile players that we can mix them in. We have pitchers that play positions, you know, and that's kind of – going out nowadays, but we have girls that can play so many different positions, our hitters, slappers, power hitters, gap to gap hitters. So it's, it's very unique. You guys will play eight games out in Arizona. It'll be warm or warmer than here at least. Yeah hopefully warm for you guys, but what is the goal that you want the girls to focus on? What are some of the things you want them to work on during those eight games? We just always want to grow. That's that's the biggest thing that we always want is our girls to grow. So um, our hitters, we want them to grow. We gave them, you know, four different things that we want them to work on um, while we're in Arizona. You know, our, our coaching staff told them today, we just started practice today, so it's, you know, we're, we're kind of behind a little bit, um, but the things that we want to work on is, is just growth. And not only when we go play those games, but our missions work as well. Um, that's kind of a big thing for us. So um, playing those eight games is going to be so good for us to be able to start our season um, and then play next month as well. You know, so we're starting so early. Um, and so we can go out there and see the things that we need to work on. You know, it's we may not have the outcome that we would like, but I hope we do. You know, that's what we're aiming for. But if we don't, then that's things that we know um, that we have to improve on. You mentioned the other important part of this trip outside of softball is, is the missions work that you and the team will be doing. What are some of the plans for that? Yeah, so we're um, working with Habitat for Humanity. Um, we're going to be painting. We're going to be working in their store, um, building houses. Um, and then we're also working with the Phoenix Dream Center. So we're going to be um, hearing testimonies from girls, uh, women who have gotten out of sex trafficking, um, recovered from drug and alcohol abuse. Um, and then we're going to work with them as well. So it's going to be incredible. It's going to be awesome. Well, Aaron, best of luck with this upcoming trip and best of luck here in your second season leading the Taylor softball team. Thank you. That is Aaron Kotlars, the Taylor softball head coach, joining me today to stay up to date with everything Taylor softball. Just log on to taylortrojans.com.